turned 81 in October. Joe Biden is exactly my age. Right. I don't see this obsession with his age. <laughs> Listen carefully. I don't see this obsession with his age when all of this is being accomplished in this country. Tell me why that's an issue. It's, it's, a, it's an issue for a few reasons. First is that if Joe Biden had the ratings at 81 that you have, um, it wouldn't be a problem. In his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm a low meaning, and I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president, and I put this country back on its feet. Well, many American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is age. your judgment. They, that is they, your they, judgment. 37% approval rating in the country. And the reason for that yeah. is all those things you just talked about, which are factually true, yeah. um, he can't sell it. He's not selling it. He can't sell it. And it's not that Joe Biden never could sell it. I've known Joe Biden for 40 years. He was a really good, effective politician. He isn't anymore. He is not well, effective at selling it. He's the manager of the country. No, no, but, but Joy, the country. being president is more than just that. It's, it's, it's also convincing people. It's convincing people that it. what you're doing makes sense. I know you can't you say it. But, this this morning, but, but it is. But look. The view starts live right now. Elective memory? The president fires back after the special counsel's bombshell claim, questioning his mental acuity. In his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning, I'm an elderly man, and I know what the hell I'm doing. Is this something voters won't forget at the polls? Well, well, well. That was really interesting. You know, people that say that age is just a number, they don't really get it. Do you realize there's a number on every item that you buy at the grocery store? It means that there's an end date. <laughs> and um, things get old and they're not the same as they used to be. I love Auntie, but sometimes <laughs> she's a little wrinkly in the mind as well. <laughs> We're going to be interviewing an elderly um, woman, Alice Mason Chapman. She was on the show a few years ago when um, she was accused of voting from the grave in the 2020 election for Joe Biden. Understand it either, Ray? Uh, elderly abuse is terrible. I still get insurance companies wanting me to buy life insurance and I'm not even alive. <laughs> Alice, I think you lost your wig, baby. <laughs> Listen, Alice, I gotta ask you this question. Yes. Um, they say that every vote counts, and um, I know it's unconventional for you to be voting, but what do you think that your vote got in? So we've dug her up again to um, talk to her about this subject. Alice! How you doing? <laughs> See, it's been a long time. Yes, I've been resting a lot, obviously. <laughs> you know, as you age, the bones aren't the same as they were when you were a younger girl. And of course, your skin, you just, you know, simply falls off. After death. <laughs> well, anyway, um, that's the first thing I'd say. <laughs> well, it's a natural thing to decline. It doesn't mean you have to end your life. Of course, mine eventually did. But you can have a successful life. Doing other things that are not so brain stressing, <laughs> like being a president of the United States. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I I think.
think we better let you go, Alice. You're sort of looking a little pale. <laughs> Alice, is that a worm on your face? <laughs> well, in conclusion, we should all celebrate our elderly and our um, longevity, but let's not forget that youth is where the vitality of life comes from, and we all wish we were there. People look at him and they say, is he really up to it? Can he really do it? And can he not only do it today, but we're giving him a four-year contract to go until he's 86. That is your judgment. Enjoy whatever stage of life you're in, and that's it.